Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to uh, show you some of the tips and tricks you can try out on the Xiaomi Redmi 3S Prime. So this device comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow and on top of that we have this MIUI 7.5. So MIUI is a customizable uh, OS, uh, we have lots of added features included. So we'll talk about some of the tips and tricks you can try out on this device. So first step, let's go to the home screen. So we just uh, use a two finger swipe. Uh, we get this option called uh, move apps, widgets, wallpapers and FX. So we FX, uh, we have this multiple home screens. You can choose the FX between them. So there are lots of FX included. So based on whichever you like, uh, uh, the navigation, I mean the transition effect between multiple home screens, you can choose that from here. Another option is the move apps. So move apps, uh, we have lots of uh, uh, features here. So one is uh, moving apps from one home screen to another. So what you need to do is select that and uh, select the apps uh, which you want to move. Then go to the next home screen and uh, select uh, uh, these apps there. So that will be moved uh, uh, from one screen to another instead of manually dragging and dropping each of one of them. You can move apps easily from uh, here. So that's another useful option. And uh, another option is um, uh, uninstalling multiple apps. So if you want uh, uh, multiple apps to be removed, just uh, uh, select the multiple apps, then just swipe here and this will combine into one option. And then what you need to do is just uh, uh, drag and uh, drop to the uninstall button and you can see uninstall uh, modern combat 5 and two other apps so this will simultaneously uninstall uh, the selected apps so if you want uh, to remove multiple apps say for example 5 to 10 apps you want to remove in one go this is the best option just click uninstall and that apps will be uninstalled so that is the options here now let's go to uh, the lock screen so lock screen now uh, we have this uh, small icon here so if you just click this icon uh, we have an option to change the lock screen wallpaper so you can just swipe here and uh, change the wallpaper now if you go here you can just uh, select this uh, wallpaper as favorite share this or set this as the wallpaper i mean uh, the lock screen wallpaper and if you go to the settings uh, we have this option uh, to select uh, different categories so you can see here scenery lifestyle india general so if you want uh, which also category you want uh, to show as a wallpaper you can uh, select those wallpaper from here so that's the lock screen wallpaper option that's a pretty handy option now uh, let's go to uh, uh, the settings panel so here we have a default set of options so if you go to the notification we can uh, see the toggle position so we have this uh, option to toggle the positions so if you just want to change the position just drag i mean the press and hold the option and then drag and rearrange them so that's another useful option so once you rearrange them and uh, if you go back uh, you can see the notification center and the quick toggles will be changed according to whatever you selected then i can also show notification icons and the connection speed uh, the internet connection speed you can edit the carrier name over so whichever is your um, cell phone data provider you can edit the names so that's the another option available in the notification settings then the uh, themes will come back to that option then uh, in the display we have this option color and contrast you can set the color and contrast for your display the standard or warm colors or cool colors uh, i mean you also have the option to select the contrast increase contrast standard contrast uh, so these are the options available so that's another useful option then there is also reading mode uh, you can see that uh, reading node uh, display uh, uh, reduces the background glare so that's another option you can see here this is the reading mode then i can increase the strength of the reading mode as well so if you uh, read a lot of content on uh, the device you can uh, enable the reading mode so that's another useful option so now let's go to the next option there is a light mode so light mode uh, is a simplified home screen you can just turn this on it will reboot the phone and uh, you only have basic options like sms uh, clock uh, alarm and uh, phone settings so rest all options will be disabled and uh, this is pretty useful if uh, if the phone is being used by elderly people they want a simpler home screen instead of the default home screen then there is child mode as the name indicates when you once you turn on the uh, child mode uh, you will be asked uh, a password and uh, we can uh, lock uh, particular apps uh, from accessing so if you are if you are giving the phone to your kid uh, the best mode is to turn on the child mode and only a few apps like uh, say for example if he's if you are she or he is playing with uh, some games uh, only those games will be available and rust all will be disabled so that's another useful option so child mode uh, will be uh, password protected and only uh, selected apps can be enabled there and you can have a restricted uh, access to your apps um, uh, for your kid then additional settings uh, we have one-handed mode 
so you can see here 100 mode you can select 4 inches of 3.5 inches so this device is a, uh, a 5 inch display so if you just swipe here uh, you can see 100 mode so select ok and you can see the smaller screen here and you can also select this uh, screen size here if you have, if you want a smaller screen size if you touch on the op open area it will just go back to the older option so we just swipe here it will get to the 100 mode on the right side and if you just, just swipe onto the left side it will be 100 mode on the left side so that's the option now for 100 mode so let's just go back to the settings once again so then now we have this shortcut menu so shortcut menu is a quick toggle like you can see here floating dock and uh, you can uh, see the options that are some quick toggles available in the shortcuts so this floating dots provide uh, you with uh, some added options like lock screen you can take a screenshot you can just go back uh, so these are some of the options and you can also customize uh, this option we'll just uh, show you uh, so you can select shortcuts you can, we have some default options so you can just select uh, what all you want uh, there are lots of options available say for example torch is there bluetooth silent mode bl mobile data rotate off so these are the options available so you can customize what all you want in the sh uh, shortcuts and then uh, once you are done that you will have this floating uh, 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 I mean a floating icon where you can select this shortcut you can just move this uh, icon uh, anywhere and I can just uh, see here you can just uh, move this floating dock uh, to whichever position you want and I uh, use it so that's the shortcut menu so you can also customize the notification light uh, uh, available here so calls whichever light you want messages whichever light you want so these can be customized uh, from uh, the settings now here there's another option called buttons so what it does is you can uh, select uh, what all actions has to be performed in the long press of the navigation button the, these are the three navigational buttons and a uh, long press uh, what all happens you can select uh, that from here and wake up uh, with volume button so these are some of the options available in the button customization then uh, let's go to the theme store uh, we have this theme store so we can uh, customize uh, different themes we have this lock, st lock style lock screen icons home screen so these things can be customized so once you take up a theme uh, you can customize every bit of that theme including icons lock screen lock style etc then uh, we have this uh, different themes to download uh, you can customize uh, using uh, uh, different themes available in the theme store so that's another option then we have the security so where we have uh, different options like cleaner data usage block list battery manager wire scanner and permissions and um, we have this cleaner you can uh, clean up junk files there uh, then uh, we have this option uh, to uh, manage the data a block list uh, as the name indicates uh, you can block calls and sms a uh, wire scan you can perform and in the battery uh, saver you can uh, see there is a different battery profiles you can choose default profile uh, marathon profile uh, sleep so these things can be added you can also add different profile uh, where you want a custom profile for your battery so that's another useful option then there is battery saver option you can uh, select uh, when to turn on the battery saver and you can also customize uh, uh, when to switch on uh, a different profile uh, uh, based on the battery percentage so these are some of the really useful tools uh, you can uh, you can also schedule a profile switch uh, based on the battery or the time so uh, apart from that if you go to the settings you can see the small app lock icon you can see uh, you can use the uh, password to protect apps you can select the apps which you want to uh, 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 select uh, I mean protect uh, using the password and then add lock you can uh, you can either create a pattern or a pin or even use the fingerprint scanner to protect uh, locks so that's another useful option available in the security so these are some of the tips and tricks you can try out on the redmi 3s prime uh, which runs on miui 7.5 so when miui 8 will be released for this device uh, so some of these options might change uh, so we'll have a, a different video when we have the miui 8 for this device so these are some other tips and tricks you can try out on the Xiaomi Redmi 3S Prime. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.